Today I have goodie and great finds. This is how I organize my jewelry, and I have this one marked in my SKU as J5, so it's not really not that exciting, but this is how I organize my jewelry. So in here is my jewelry. This one doesn't have a lot in it. Some of them are very full. And this is J5, so I have five of these, and this is the last one I made. So, and then by day, which you could mark these bags by day that you do them, like one, two, three, four, five, just to make it even more organized. I probably should do that, but when I am doing my listing, I just throw them in a bag. Sometimes I watch movies and list at the same time. That way it just makes it a lot easier to find things. And let's see here. Yep, right here. And I have two of them. So I'll have to check really good which one it is. I think they're a little bit different. Hopefully, hopefully they're a little bit different. So that's how I organize my jewelry, just to keep it straight. Um, if you want to be super organized, I would definitely put a number on the bags, even if it's just, like I said, one, two, three, four, five, or the date that you're doing it. Or if you're selling like thousands of pieces of jewelry, that's how I would organize it. I got all these from our local repo auction, but I really like them for organizing my eBay stuff. It's super, super simple that way. It really, really works. Also, my shipping supplies. So here's the inside of these where I keep these poly mailers. And this is like all one size. They're different colors. This is how I organize them in here. I just throw them in here. There really is no rhyme or reason other than I keep the sizes the same in each bin. I just pull the little tote. It's ready to go. And this also works for my little boxes that I have. So I bought some of these for postcards. These are like the eBay postcard size. So they just fit really good. Here's some like jewelry ones I found off Amazon. I'm not real thrilled about those. I'll show you a better one here. Oh yeah, here's some 4x4s I got in another video from the Repo Place. I love buying boxes from them. They work really good. And see how nice these are organized in these bins. As I say organized, look at what I have done. I must have had like a really tired day. <laughs> what? Okay, now little mannequin, you don't belong in here. You don't belong in here either. As I say, I'm super organized. I open it and it's totally not. This is where I have all my little jewelry boxes. These are very small. These are smaller than I thought. So if you order jewelry boxes, I would just make sure to measure them. Before you buy them, maybe just take a measuring tape just to visually see. And this also works for my tape. Okay, no fancy setup today for the tripod, that's for sure. So today I'm just going to quick go through here, and here's an antique brocade doily for a dresser. This one I got from an estate sale where people do clear outs. So I bought all of them that they had, and I think this is the last one. So this sold for $50.63. Thank you so much, Kevin. Here it comes. It's beautiful. This was my favorite one, and oddly this is the last one that sold. I love the colors of this one. Okay, so I'm just going to layer it like this. And then kind of fold it over. Okay, so I have these thank you cards that I made. I do have a video that I can link. These are great just to say thank you. Because it's really nice when people buy from you. I definitely appreciate everybody's order. And then I have these stickers. And I'm going to put one of these stickers on here. Okay, so here's the finished product. And it's going out to Kevin. Thank you so much, Kevin. Oh yeah, and I also write a little thank you on my packages because I just like to brighten somebody's day. Hopefully. Okay, so here is an Italy Guardian Angel Pray For Us a Vintage Silver Tone Pendant Italian Angel. I think it's actually over 100 years old. This one came from a very old estate auction. And I bought the jewelry out of one bag. I have big regrets about not buying the second bag because the, the bag that I bought was so good. And I was being a cheapie and it went for $35. That was really stupid <laughs> for the whole bag. 
ah, I'll never make that mistake again. I tell myself you are not going to be cheap on jewelry if it's a state jewelry. So this one sold for $66.39 and this one's going out for Jeffrey. Thank you so much, Jeffrey. It's really cool. It's very neat. I love Italian shoes. I love Italian jewelry. And I just think Italy is just amazing. They have like the best stuff. So this is really special. It's a special little piece. And I hope you enjoy it. I don't remember what they said. But definitely if you are wondering like how big is two inches really? For some reason I thought two inches was huge. <laughs> Dumb. <laughs> and so yeah. But these work good for this. So that works. I definitely need to pick up some more of these. And I've been watching locally to try to find a really good deal. Because these are not cheap. So, but yeah, you can get these off Amazon. They work really well for shipping. So this is a very special little piece for sure. All that stuff was from an estate that... Most of the items were from the 1860s. I assume that it is probably around that era. A gentleman had inherited a farm and it was passed back for many generations and it was a pioneer house and he really wanted nothing to do with it or the stuff inside it. Oh, I was cringing because all the stuff was so good. Okay, so I wrapped it in tissue paper and I put a sticker and my thank you cards in there and I also do tape the back because... I wouldn't want things to just fall out when they pull it out of their package, so that's why I do that. Okay, so I've doubled big this, and I still don't have my Rolo printer set up. Oh, this is just embarrassing, and my other printer isn't working. So then I just write Italy and Jeffrey. That way, when that way when the label prints, I'll know who it's going to. You definitely don't want to make that mistake. Definitely write something on the front when you're printing your stuff, so you know who's going to what, even if you think you know. You definitely don't want to make a mistake to send it to the wrong person. So I've done that once and I'll never do that again. And somehow it all ended up all right. And I don't know how, but it did. And I'll never do it again. Okay, here's a pair of Relativity jeans. And these are all in at 1920. They're really cute. I've got these cute little cargo pockets on the back. Sorry if you see a cord. My phone is completely dying. It's been a long, long day. <laughs> I'm, really, I'm really looking forward to just taking a break and editing a video and sitting down. And sometimes that's the only way I relax. And these are going out to Mary. Thank you so much, Mary. Now I just did weigh them and they are over a pound. If they are over a pound, then I will put them in a flat rate envelope, which is this. And I also bag it to make sure that it doesn't get ruined or wet. I know this Michigan weather here is always kind of hit and miss. Most days are bad here. So <laughs> I always make sure to bag my items. So with my older, like not recently listed pieces of clothing, this is how I organized that. This just means medium print. And they're all in plastic bags and they're all on the shelf. These are like heavy duty ones from Menards. I think they hold, I don't know, several hundred pounds. These are awesome. And they're only like 40 some dollars. I get them free because I use the coupon. So anytime I have a coupon, I go there and I buy more of these. Although I don't need any more anymore. So I just have to pull the right bag out and this one will be on its way. Okay, so here's a Simply Vera Vera Wing Petite Medium shirt. And this one's going out to Barbara. Thank you so much, Barbara. This one sold for $22.48. I love the colors of this top. It's so pretty. Look at that. And I always like to fold them with a tag up. It's probably just me. I try to make it look nice, but I think this way it kind of stays hopefully unwrinkled and I try to get them there as unwrinkled as possible. Look at how cute that is, the little pink sticker. Pink is one of my favorite colors. I would love to get a package like this. So cute and pretty. Okay, so I like to bag everything double bags, and then that way they slide in real good, and if something happens to the bag, it gets ripped a little bit with another package. It has a double layer of protection and the tissue paper. So these bags are just the great value twist tie bags and they work really good. Um, I buy these from Walmart. They're about $3 a box. They work super awesome for this. Now, these bags I have seen and just in feedback that sometimes they'll come apart on the edges. I do make sure that I tape the edges. When I put a label on, I'll put it this way on and then put tape here, here. I just put some down here so that all the sides will be 
have some kind of tape on them. I have gotten packages too where people have used this, not so much the eBay ones, because the eBay ones are thicker and they seem to be better quality. So if you have this kind, you know, they're just like the, the poly mailers that you get and some of them have prints on them. You just want to put some extra tape on them. I have gotten packages that have been opened. I bought some magazines recently and the whole bottom was split open and the magazines were kind of ruined on the bottom. I didn't say anything. I really wasn't a fan of it. So just a little tip there. Here's a really cute CSC Studio by Carolyn Strauss Black Floral Print Traveler's Roost Top Size Medium. This one sold for $18.66 and it's really cute. It's got roost shot sides. Look how cute that is. I don't know why I didn't wear this. I bought this and I never wore it. So this is going out to Danny. Thank you so much, Danny. I hope you like it. It's beautiful. I love the colors. Okay, so here's a Mazamo size 6 stretch pinstripe navy and light blue A-line skirt. So this one's going out to Estefana. I'm so sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong, but thank you so much. And this one's sold for $13.48. Okay, so this one's all packaged up and ready to go. I'm going to put it in this bag, and then look at these. These are cute. Look at these designer bags. These just make my life so much happier. I love them. Hopefully my buyers love them too. I love it. I love it. I love it. So cute. These things are adorable. I should order some more of these. They just make my life really happy, even though I'm having a really bad morning. <laughs> And my husband is on his way home from work during lunch to try to get my connection running again. Whoo! And we're preparing for another storm. Awesome! I'll show you what I bought. Here I have a box of postcards from Popeye's Postcards. And this I bought on Whatnot. I really need to pay attention to his auctions. Because it was really fun. It's The auction started when I was traveling. And the funny thing was, by the time I got home, the auction was about done. So, that worked out well. Ooh, it's packed so nice. Wait, does this look like drugs? <laughs> okay, okay. This is not a brick of drugs. I'm just saying. This is not... This is not what that is. I don't know why my mind is going there today. That's a good idea to use painter's tape. Ooh. He marked them all. How awesome. Not that I'm going to go back and look. <laughs> I bought some. I paid the bill. Whatever. Look at that. Look at all these postcards. And that's just one brick. I think I paid around 13 to... 26 a lot and I think the lots were different too it probably depended on how long the bidding was going up I liked his because his were just really fun and like here's another one each lot was still under like a dollar a card so that was, that was just fun and he has really good shipping look at it you cannot go wrong you cannot nothing can penetrate this and it had bubble wrap Ooh, I'm gonna keep that for later. So I bought these to resell and there's some Michigan ones in here I'll probably keep for myself too or if it's somewhere I went on vacation. Oh, look at the cute stuff Angie Resell sent me. Look at her stickers. I'm super jealous. I should make some of those. They're so cute. Oh, take a look at her channel. She is one of my favorites. And it was her birthday and she sent me goodies. Oh, look how cute that is. I'll have to put a photo of my dog in there. And some air fresheners. We can always use these for the husband's truck. <laughs> Thank you so much, Angie. Jiminy Flippets. I got some goodies. So here's the funny thing. Nice, and I was really struggling to open this. I spent several minutes, and then I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> open it from the top. Duh. <laughs> I'm just not the brightest on a bad day. This definitely cheered me up. So, and I bought some goodies. I'm super excited. Look at what I bought. He has really good ads. Go see Jiminy Flip It for ads. Because you can actually take these ads and put them on the wall. And even the backs are cool. Look at that. 
Oh my goodness. I'm obsessed. I am obsessed. I'm probably going to do a lot more shopping. And he's given me a lot of really good listing ideas. Look at, he even put it in this. Wow. Thank you. It's super packed good. And I bought these to hang on my wall in my dressing room. Look at this one. This is my favorite. So I went to buy this one and I'm going to hang this on the wall. And look at the ads on the back. Oh, I'm super excited. Thank you. I'm excited. I'm so excited about this. I'm sure I have even frames of my own from estates. I don't usually resell the frames, so I probably have a lot of those. Oh, and the necklace is from the costume jeweler. He is my favorite person to buy jewelry from, not only on eBay, but also on YouTube. So check him out, costume jeweler. Really nice. I love it. He handpicks them and they're just amazing. So then I'm reading this book, The Invisible in Plain Sight, and this is from Robert's Ride Along. He's a great author. He writes really good. You guys, it's amazing. I'm telling him he should write more books so I can read them. My, I still haven't gotten through this one. So I'm here. And he wrote this little note. So <laughs> the funny thing was, I asked my husband, weren't you reading that? Did you get through that book? And he goes, no, I have a bookmark. Is this the one? <laughs> Well, but did I also mention I broke his phone? <laughs> okay, so this is a really good book. It definitely make you think a little bit, especially more about winter and the homeless. Wonderful book, wonderful stories. Look up Robert's Ride Along and you can also get this on Amazon and also bookstores. And I love their channel. They have one of my favorite channels. Him and his wife are on there. I love their channel. They have these little adventures and some reselling in there. I definitely get good tips from him on reselling too. So go check him out. I always love it when he uploads a video. I go and run over there and sit down and watch his video. We love to read books. So thank you, Robert, for this book. We are enjoying it. We're kind of fighting over this book. <laughs> Maybe I should have bought two. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed my sales and my buys. Even a present. Woo! My internet is working though now, and so is my printer. So yay. Enjoy your day. Have a fabulous week. Good luck reselling and buying. I hope you find some goodies. Bye everybody. You think I Jamie's on? Come on. What you doing, baby? Got Jamie's?